It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Now from the second city of Chicago, head down Lakeshore Drive and you find Venerable Soldier Fear, home of the Bears. So good to have you with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Oltz, we're getting set for kickoff in here. Partner, I'm really focused on the start of this game. Both teams emphasize what happens here right at the jump. And that's why that so many of these teams spend so much time all week, Mike, on what they call their opening script. It's not just a series of plays that they like and they just kind of throw darts at the wall. It's how do you unmask the defense? How do you set up future plays and future possessions as the game unfolds? So much time and energy is spent on these first couple drives. I'm with you. I'm excited to see how do they come out, how aggressive, and where do they think the weaknesses of their opponent lie. The veteran Brandon McManus ready to kick this one off. Off we go from Soldier Field. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. Won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. There's a lot to like about this young quarterback, Mike. I mean, he has that intriguing skill set that has the potential to develop into something pretty special over time. There's undoubtedly going to be some growing pains. That's expected. But I'm excited to see what he does with this opportunity now that his number's been called. Pass is caught. That's DJ Moore. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. So come up now for second down and four. Now the free agent signee from Philadelphia. It's DeAndre Swift. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here. Taking them down for a loss. On third down, it's William. He's got his man with the connection. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. After that last completion on the way back to the huddle, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively. All over him, and it'll be second down. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up, Mike. You can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes, and once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. I'll uh, give up the middle with Swift. Ooh! And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. The goal of every offense, Mike, is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. But some success here early on the ground will open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. The tight end, Komet, is on the move. On first down, they give it right back to Swift. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings him right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. Brought in by the tight end, Cole Komet. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Nice first down catch there by Cole Komet. And Mike, I've had a chance to spend some time with him in Nashville these last couple summers and at our TEU event that I run with George Kittle and Travis Kelsey. And 
for a big body, for a guy who's just a large, large guy, he can really bend, he can run, he can get in and out of his break, and I think that's a big reason why as he's continued to develop, he's a very good run blocker, and he's really become that dynamic weapon they thought he would be coming out of Notre Dame just a few years ago. They face second down and seven. They'll go play action here with Williams. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. And this ball incomplete on third down. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. Every team has those vertical shots, Mike. They're on the call sheet, and they feel like they can get behind the defense. I think that was one of them, and... Just couldn't quite connect downfield because he had pretty good separation. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears are out to an early 3-0 lead. And that's a good drive right out of the gate. They're able to make some plays, move the ball down the field. I know they didn't get a touchdown, but that is a good positive result. points on that opening drive we'll see the response as the kicks away on the return here's Jaden Reed he's across the 20 taking down just shy of the 25 here comes the pack and here comes Jordan Love fifth season quarterback for Greg just his second as a starter waited his turn and had a really good first year as a starter Took a little while for him to get his chance to be a full-time starter, but once he got that shot, he just never looked back. I mean, Mike, think, he's always had that power for him. He can push the ball up and down the field and make every throw imaginable. But that time he spent on the sideline, I think it ended up being a massive blessing in disguise. He was able to work on his game from a mental and technical standpoint with no pressure to play. And now, he's reaping all the benefits. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. We met with them the other day, Mike, and the offensive coordinator, he went out of his way. He was adamant that they felt really good early in this game. There was a lot of things on this opening script they could do to attack this defense. Well, needless to say, I don't think giving up a sack on the first play was what he had in mind. And now they face a second and long. they got to get back on track. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. On the ground, this is the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. Third and five. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He dives, and what a catch for the first down. A first down there, gain of 14 yards. You just love to see this effort, especially on third down. You understand, you want to keep this possession alive. You have to do everything in your power sometimes to bail out your quarterback, and it's exactly what he does here, and it brings up a first set of downs. First and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Love. That'll be caught. It's Josh Jacobs. Second down at eight. A run up the middle with Jacobs. 
They're going to work this down inside the 45. This is how you draw up your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. It's the tight end craft in motion. On first and ten, here's Luck. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. From the gun, it's Love. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. Don't need much. It is third and inches. It's the tight end craft in motion. Dobbs open left side. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. And they'll try it now with Jacobs. And he's not going to get there. The defense was ready for it, and they stuff him on fourth down. Set to go now on first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He was looking to get it to DJ Moore. It's second down. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression... There was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. To throw is Williams. He's got the hook up there to Ogunje. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, if we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. Here's a second and three forthcoming. A play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. Now, a deep shot for Allen. Jair Alexander is there to back that one away. That's one of those plays where you come off the field, Mike, and you're getting a lot of high fives. Hey, good job. But then that secondary's coach pulls you over to the side and says, hey, nice play. But next time, let's come away with the pick. Third and short yardage, and here's Williams. This one is taken in downfield. Big completion. A lot of terrific quarterbacks from Southern California. And here's another one. 
the rookie gets his team a first down. This is the connection that Bears fans have been dreaming about since these two guys were drafted in this previous spring's draft. I mean, they think they have one of the more formidable young quarterback wide receiver duos in the entire league. Williams, first overall pick. Adunze, number nine. The future looks bright in Chicago. He manages to get four yards out of that. Here's a second and six. Working out of the gun, and here's Williams. On the out, connecting with Allen. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough. For the first down. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. They'll try to run for it. It's swift. And he didn't need much. I don't think he got there. It's going to depend on the spot. Looks like he is short on that one. And what a play by the interior of this defensive line. There was nowhere to run. He's able to get in the backfield for a big stop, and it sets up fourth down. Ah, early big play here. They're going to go for it on fourth down. They'll go. It's Swift. And he indeed picks up a Bears first down as they find a way to keep the chains moving on fourth down. A little test of wills up front, huh, Mike? I mean, who wanted this one more? Who would get off the line quicker? Who would drive the other side backwards? Pretty impressive that not only are they the ones that won the battle, the defense knew it was coming and still couldn't stop. Thrown quickly, that's more on the RPO. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So just a lone field goal in the first quarter of play. It's the Bears off to the early lead. We're back to Soldier Field after this. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Shotgun, it's a give to Swift. The Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. They'll run with Swift. They'll try to push forward, but only a yard. Down to the two. And a little closer. Here's second and goal. From the shotgun, it's William. He's got his big tight end. Gerald Everett. Touchdown, Chicago. Spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after His kick is good. And the Bears are out to a 10-0 lead.
The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This returnable with Reed. A good return as he takes it across the 30. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll gain about six there as it's up past the 35-yard line. They'll work now on second and four. to throw. Short pass taken in by the tight end. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes gets the ball out of his hand and results in a completion. He'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. And he's not going to get away. They'll knock him back to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss. On second down, Love. Good throw, out wide, it's caught. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Ball rests at the 37, it's first and 10. Here's Love to throw. run by the tight end as he takes it into the end zone and finishes the play. Greg, you know what that's like. Tight end touchdown. Mike, so often the tight ends are considered to be the possession guys, right? They're the guy you throw it to when you need an easy catch, you need a reliable target, but not this guy. He is a downfield weapon and he just showed you right there what he's capable of. Brandon McManus now to add the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Packers are on the board. It's 10 to 7. as the kicks away. DeAndre Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Here's first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. He's able to get away for one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. 
All week long, they stress, Mike, that we have to get as many defenders to this ball carrier as possible. They know he's going to make some guys miss. He's going to be hard to get on the ground. But you can see the effect of rallying to the ball as it had here. They're able to take him down, and they're able to do it for a loss. They'll go again with Swift. And he'll take this up to the 30. And I'll pick up the five. Here comes third and six. To throw, it's Williams. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. Here's second and six. They will run it over center with Swift. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. plays that just drive you crazy Mike you think you're gonna pick up the first down you get tackled just shy of the sticks and now a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down on fourth down here is the rookie the Aussie fourth round pick Tory Taylor to punt for Chicago Keyshawn Nixon the return man this one angles out of bounds and the mark comes inside the 15 yard line They'll come up here first and ten. Love. Little short pass here caught by his tight end. play action with love he's gonna go deep looking for Reed. it's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say well the quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots usually that doesn't go hand in hand so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate Shotgun. It's run. Open his crap. He's got it. And he's going to be out of bounds with a gain of seven. And that'll be enough for a first down. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Love. How quickly to die. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too far, and it draws the flag. To throw is Love. Through the middle, that one caught by Watson. A 
takes the tight end Kraft in motion. Here's a screen taken in by Jacobs. It's a really good job defensively. The key is you don't want your defensive lineman to overcommit to rushing the passer, and you don't want your linebackers in secondary dropping too deep defending the pass. In this case, all three levels play discipline, good football with good vision. And that's why they're able to stop him for no gain. Third and six. It's the tight end Kraft in motion. This one up top for Dobbs. there the crowd does not agree with that call booze ring out doesn't matter not going to change it it's a first down from the gun it's love this one complete right side it's watson now they are in business inside the 15 yard line Anytime you're facing a zone defense, you're working from your first progression all the way through. But when guys are open in this level, Mike, they don't stay open very long. So what they taught us as receivers, if you're open, stay open. And if you're not open, you better get open quick because that ball is coming out. Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. Open man is Reed. He's got it. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. Second down throw for Long. McManus on for the point after. He's got it. And the Packers are on top. It's 14 to 10. team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Carter on the return and he is stopped at the 25 the drive will begin then A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. after the catch, Greg, to take it to the end zone for a touchdown. I'm just so impressed by the acceleration of this receiver, Mike. He catches what is a short pass, and he's able to turn it up the field and take it all the way for six. That is an impressive play, run after catch.
on is Santos for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Bears move out to a three-point edge, 17 to 14. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. For the return, it's Keyshawn Nixon. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. a critical area on the field Mike between the hash marks and the numbers everyone wants to control the middle of the field every offense is targeting it. so what does the defense do they really pack it so for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter it just really stresses these defenses especially in their coverages love to throw on first and ten taking off and he's able to take this for good yardage before sliding and hitting the deck to end the play. Well, that scramble is ultimately going to end up short of the first down, Mike, but it's going to help quite a bit. That's a great job by the quarterback. Just taking what the defense gives you, get downfield, pick up good yardage. Throwing on second down, Love. This one is caught by Reed. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. From the 35, it's first and 10. Here's Love. It's taken in, and they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. That last completion's going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. Trying to connect with Romeo Dobbs that time. And it'll lead to a second down. Throwing is low. Over the middle, he fits it into Dobbs. Now they are in business. Inside the 15-yard line. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. To throw is low. They'll try to set up the screen here. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still on the back of their head. Here's second and three to go. Now Love. And the rush gets home. You go down. They got it. That's a timeout for Green Bay. 
It'll be their second as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Third and nine. Love to throw. Back in the end zone and intercepted. It's the veteran safety, Kevin Byer. So much of that play comes down to the defender's positioning. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you were sitting here saying, that's a touchdown. And instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. So we hit halftime along the lakefront here in Chicago. And the Bears are on top as we'll get you down to Orlando now. That's for the coaches, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the rookie from USC, Caleb Williams, who was looking the part. He came on after a slow start to fire two second-quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. Mike is going to play a big role in who wins this one. Three points. All that separates these two sides is half number two. Kicks off. This returnable with Reed. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Jordan Love, the rest of the Packer offense, ready for their next possession. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and will try to sustain it here down the stretch. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. set up third down now run he gets that complete as he hits Reed 10 yards the gain on the pitch and catch Good for a Green Bay first down. I love the timing between the receiver and the quarterback. It's a really nice route. He's going to take this up the field, and then when he pulls that string back and he comes out of his break, the ball is there immediately. You can't wait for the receiver to actually look. This ball is well in the air before that receiver comes out of his cut. On first down, it's low. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Christian Watson, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. A 
to the air. It's Love. Quickly to the outside and complete. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. to about the 42. T.J. Edwards there on the stop. Here's second and nine. Once again, it's Jacobs. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here, and it led to a big game. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. It'll be a short pickup down to the 22. That's Tyreek Stevenson there to make the tackle. Second and seven. The man in motion is Watson. They'll run the draw with Jacobs. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look and will step out for a moment. have tied it at 17. So touchdowns are always the primary goal of every drive. But when you find yourself down three here in the second half, you've just got to find a way to tie the game up. And they were able to do that here. ties things up and we're back at it as this kicks away Carter on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. A play fake. Now Williams. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven.
They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. I'll give up the middle with Swift. And he's going to have enough for the first down. Oh, mark him up at the 39 yard line. Shotgun. It's Williams. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. At some point, you would just like to see that internal clock start to speed up. The longer the play goes on, the more vulnerable you become as the quarterback. Get rid of the ball. But no matter what, you have to avoid the sack. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Williams going to keep it on the zone read. A big play there on second down, but we do have a flag on the field. And that's in an area where usually this play gets erased. Darnell Wright, guilty that time. On the give, here's Swift. That lane closes quickly. A pickup of three. Powerful Rashawn Gary there in run support. Third and long. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. Into space at the 45. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. You can't run plays like this, Mike, if you don't have incredible pass protection. I mean, he started on the left side of the formation, and look how far he had to go across the field before that ball was caught. That's going to take time. That's going to take a lot of trust in that quarterback, in his protectors, to know he can stand tall in that pocket and wait for his receiver to break open. Set to go now on first and ten. Now Williams. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. the option. It's Swift. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. Throwing is Williams. In trouble and taken down Rashawn Gary former Michigan Wolverine in there to take him down when you can win so fast as an edge rusher you put so much pressure on the quarterback to speed everything up he can sense that pressure coming either from his front or backside it either speeds up and leads to an errant throw or in this case it leads to a sack so after the loss on first Here's second and 14. Swift gets it from the pistol. And he'll lean forward, getting this to about the 35. Way Walker, the linebacker, on the tackle. A tough spot here. Third and long. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there, the sack that might take them out of field goal range. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, 
takes a big loss. The Bears send out their punt team. And they'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt. And this is going to work out for them. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out there. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been kicked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the gun, it's Love. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I like the idea of using the passing game to try to give your offense a little breathing room. You find yourself in the shadow of your own goalpost, Mike. Worst case scenario, you do not want to punt out of your own end zone. So I like the idea of trying to pick up some positive gains through the air. But they've got to come up with some completions and try to pick up at least one first down Oh, you're going to put your defense in a tough spot. They need eight as they come up for third down. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. Open his crack. He's got it. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. The man in motion is Watson. Love to throw it on first. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. This is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback. As that pocket starts to collapse, the good ones, they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush. They don't need to see the rush. Here, his eyes go down. He starts moving around the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball, and they bring him down for a sack. It's the tight end craft in motion. Here's a screen taken in by Jacobs. And get about six before he's taken down.
The crowd making their presence felt. This is third down. He'll try to run for it. That's a great job defensively. Even though they let him escape the rush initially, there was nowhere to go with either the ball or as a runner, and they're able to force fourth down. On fourth down, the Packers turn it over to Daniel Whelan to punt. Back deep, DeAndre Carter to return. Just what the punter's hoping to do. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. They'll run here. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. for the defense when they play zone coverage. Certain guys, they want to run routes like their lines on a piece of paper, and they end up going from uncovered space to covered space, but not the case here. He knew he was open. He knew he was in the right spot. He stayed open. The quarterback delivered a good ball. And he'll be stopped at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. They got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to errant throws. And when errant throws lead to big missed opportunities. They'll keep it on the ground. Run there, somehow managing to gain a couple of yards. Wow, an important one coming here. Tie game, late, and this is third down. They're already heading backwards. The Bears sending out their punt team. Important punt here in this tie game late. It's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. Here's first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Love. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. You can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. They'll stick to the ground. He'll have enough 
to move the chains. He'll take this forward for about three yards. From the 36, it is first and 10. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. quickly to Dobbs. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. On first and ten, here's Luck. Over the middle, he fits it into Don. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Love. The ball deflected at least a couple of times under a ball to the ground. It's incomplete. Kevin Byer, the veteran who's broken up a few passes in his day, gets to that one. Here now, third and five. To throw is Love. To the left side in the hands of Watson. A gain of 11 on that one. First down, Packers. You get in these situations, third down, tie game, fourth quarter. I mean, this is really where your quarterback makes his money. You are going to put your faith and say, all right, what is the best play for this offense to execute? And the game really rests in the hands of your quarterback. And... He continues to come up with these third down pickups. He continues to extend this drive. He's got a shot to come away the hero and win this game here late. He'll run. Not much happening there. Just a short game. Here's a second and nine. Go play action with love. There's that man again. Another catch. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man, when those two things are on point. The results in first down. Steven Johnson had the good coverage and is able to knock that one away. If you want to be a top-notch NFL DB, of course, yes, the athleticism is a given. But it's really, you have to be instinctive. The instincts are what allow you to maximize those physical skills. And you saw them on full display right here, leading in the big-time breakup. They'll run with Jacobs. He'll get about three. And that's going to lead to third down. Here's third and seven. Now 
foul love. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You gotta see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. And it will be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. First and ten. Here's Williams now to throw. That's complete. It's Odunze. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Off play action. Here's Williams. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Third and short yardage, and here's Williams. Looking middle and complete with Allen. Triple third down conversion there, Mike. Now brings up a fresh set of downs. You find yourself here trailing in the fourth quarter. They got to go down and score, and they got to score fast. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning remain as we get set for first and ten. To the left side, he's got Kmet. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. It's a pickup of 12. Good for a Bears first down. They'll drop to throw. He'll find an open man. It's Allen. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. They come up for second and two. Williams to the air once more. Laying out, and he made the catch. What a play. First time they've looked his way all game long. He comes through with the grab and a first down. And you love to see this. You find yourself here in the fourth quarter. Your team is trailing. You're trying to do anything possible to see if you can create some sort of late spark. He goes big time effort on the layout catch and he's able to pull it in and see if it could be a little bit of a spark here late in this ball game. So I still think there's plenty of time if they can get within shot of the end zone that they can go for a touchdown and try to win this thing in regulation. You always have a field goal try in your back pocket to at least tie the game and force overtime. Throw it again, it's Williams. Throw right side, caught by Odunze. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. And now, after that catch, they've got a chance here late, Mike. They've got enough time to try to move this thing down. I think they can win the game on this possession. 
plenty of time, plus two timeouts at their disposal. It's first and ten. Swift. The Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, this is the advantage to having a really effective passing game, Mike, as the defense now tries to adjust to stopping you through the air. It's a lot easier to mix it up and run the ball. There's a lot less defenders in there trying to stop you. From the shotgun, it's Williams. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do, and man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. A run with Swift, and he won't quite get in. Down to the one, setting up third and goal. They'll try to run with Swift. And he will not get in the defense. Standing their ground, pushing him back. And it sets up fourth and goal. And now the timeout is called. So five seconds left. And a field goal would send us to overtime. So now the Brazilian-born Cairo Santos in a big spot. This to force overtime. So, a big one coming for their veteran kicker. This one, he's got to have. This one is on target, and it is good! And we are almost certainly bound for overtime. And that's just a big-time kick right there. I mean, think about all the things running through this kicker's head. He knows if he misses it, this game's over. But he's cool. He's calm. He steps up, takes a deep breath, and he knocks it through to extend this game. Final seconds here. Overtime looming on the horizon as they kick it off. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. They'll come up for first and ten. Here we go. One final play. He's going to take a shot. Sends it down the middle. And penalty flags come in as it winds up incomplete. But no doubt there was contact there. Here comes Brandon McManus in a pressure situation. This to win the game. This kick is good. And it's celebration time. A walk-off victory on the game's final play. So it's a win here for the visiting Packers. They get themselves into field goal range for one final shot. Kicker delivers. They avoid overtime and come away. Three-point victory.